So let's go ahead and create a new project. It's going to be a Java project. We're going to call it TSP. Oh, I already have one. Let's call it uh, TSP GA. And so the first class I want to introduce is going to be uh, actually probably the best way to do this is to start with our main class so that we can work from this, uh, work this example out um, sort of top down. So let's create this class called world. Okay, and this is going to really create the canvas uh, for our application, right? The GUI and the canvas for our application. So let's say that this extends JPanel. And let's um, say that we're going to introduce private final atomic integer generation. This is going to help us keep track of the current generation that we're on. And we're going to say static final int width equals 800 static final int height equals 600, right? And let's work on our constructor here, private world. And let's say set the preferred size and dimension of width and height. And then say set the background color to be black. And then say this dot generation is equal to new atomic integer of zero. Right? We're going to initialize an atomic integer with zero. And we're finally we're going to say final timer timer is equal to new timer. And we're going to say five action event. I'm going to introduce a lambda here and do that and say that the action that the lambda takes is just, uh, let's see, we're going to say that the action that the lambda takes is just to invoke repaint. And for now, and then we're going to say, oops, timer dot start our timer. So all we've said here is now that um, we're going to create a timer. It's going to wake up every five milliseconds, I believe that is. The delay is in millis, yes. Um, and it's going to repaint the canvas. And so, um, well, then, then what are we going to repaint here? Let's make sure that we draw that. So we're going to have an at override public void paint component and final graphics graphics. And we're just going to say super dot paint component. Oops, paint component. That's usually what's required. And then we're going to say final. We're going to create a graphics two D object. Graphics 2D. This is just sort of a necessary evil. I cast it to there. We're going to say set the color to cyan. And then we're going to say set rendering hint to be rendering hint stop anti-aliasing, key anti-aliasing, and uh, rendering hints dot value anti-aliasing on, and now at the top we're just going to say g dot draw string gen say this dot generation dot increment and get and we're going to do it at 350 15 and 
g dot draw string. Actually, we don't know what that is yet. And so let's see. We should just be able to run this program right here as is, and we should be able to get something, right? So the last thing that we need to do is we need to have a main. So let's introduce that. And say public static void main string args, and we can say swing utilities dot invoke later, and we can say. Again, do a lambda and say primal j frame f frame is equal to new j frame and f dot set default close operation to window constants. Uh, exit on close f dot set title. Genetic algorithms f frame dot set resizable to false f frame dot add new world order layout dot center f dot pack frame dot set location relative to we're gonna say null and frame dot set visible to true. So let's see if we can run our little program. Okay, so, and you can actually use this skeleton for many types of 2D programs that you want to write where you want to simulate or model something. Okay, so um, this is the beginning. We will, in the next video, we will pick up and start uh, building up our genetic algorithm from the bottom up. Please do make sure to rate, comment, and like, and we'll see you in the next video.